There's something massively disappointing about being able to outdrink your own dad. I don't know whether it's a sign that your tolerance is increasing with age or his is decreasing with it, or a combination of the two. Either way, it's disappointing. Another myth dispelled, another axiom overturned, another canonical truth retired to the annals of history. But he used to be able to drink. He used to be able to drink a lot. My dad was in the Royal Navy for 22 years, where a high tolerance for alcohol was practically an entrance requirement, along with being able to tread water for three minutes while fully clothed, and the ability to shift any original thoughts to the recesses of your mind for the full duration of your enrollment within the institution. It's no longer a ration, but back in the day, each sailor was entitled to one tot of rum. A tot being an arbitrary measurement somewhere in the region of three or four fluid ounces. It was generally consumed around midday with a toast to the queen and then thrown back in one gulp. But my dad left the navy quite a while ago. Now he's in his 60s and takes pills for cholesterol, drinks fat-free milk and prune juice. In fact, if we ever go out for a beer, he always scans the choices and then picks the one with the lowest alcohol content. It's fucking pitiful. However, he's still really competitive and he likes to drink at the same pace as me. I like to play on this weakness by drinking my first couple of beers really quickly, forcing my dad to keep up so he has to order another beer when he's only halfway through the one in his hand. And then, because he doesn't want to be seen double fisting, it implies lightweightedness or alcoholism, he has to chug the one in his hand before the other beer arrives. Now I realize for some people it may seem as though I'm being cruel and taking my father's health issues lightly, but I consider it sweet revenge for all the times he watched me get drunk and puke and stumble and fall and fall asleep and bear my innermost thoughts and feelings in a slurring, burbling, confessional volley of emotion. And besides, I always make sure my dad gets home okay and drinks his cod liver oil before he goes to bed. Hmm?